I'm Willem Simcock and I'm going to tell you how I wrote uh, These Are The Good Days, which is on my solo piano album, Good Days at Schloss Elmo. I'm an optimistic kind of person. I feel very grateful and lucky to be a musician and to spend my life doing that. So I guess this tune is all about that really and I wanted it to be optimistic and joyful and very groovy because it's the first tune on the album. So what I wanted to do was to be a whole rhythm section, so not just the piano but also bass and drums as well. So the piece has three sections and the first section has a kind of riff which uh, comes back and it comes in from the very beginning and the left hand of the riff is being the bass player. And the left hand is also being the bass drum of a drum kit. So, And my right hand is being the snare drum of the drum kit, so it's on the two and the four. So that groove pretty much takes up all my fingers, so it's pretty hard to play a tune on top of that. So what I thought I'd do is have the tune as an interjection uh, between the statements of the groove. So the other thing to mention about this groove is that it's predominantly in D major, but I wanted it to be a little bit more interesting than just a straight D major chord. So there's two scales involved, and we can hear these two scales together uh, with a little passage that joins the end of the tune into the groove. So. so these two scales we have are D major and C major. So the interesting thing about that is it gives us both a C sharp and a C natural. And if you hear those together, they sound pretty awful. But if we, we do it in a little bit more of a subtle way and you don't hear them at exactly the same time, uh, we call that false relation, then it spices up the chord so it's just a little bit more interesting. So we've got the C there. And we've got the C sharp there. So that's the basis of the first section of the tune. And the third part of the tune is the very groovy bit uh, with a simple bass melody. So it's set up with a, a sort of rhythmic ostinato in the right hand, uh, a kind of drone. And I wanted this drone to build up and build up through this section. So this section builds up and builds up and it's in D-flat major, which is the richest of all keys. Uh, and when it gets to the end of it, uh, we go back to the beginning material of the tune, uh, which if you remember uh, is in D major. So we have this transition from D-flat to D major going up a semitone. And the subconscious effect of that, it, it feels like you're going somewhere new, whereas actually you're going back to the beginning. And I really like that as a compositional tool because a lot of the time in jazz, we have this structure where um, you have the shape of the tune and it goes round and round and round. So you're always going from the end back to the beginning again. So if you have this lift every time, it feels like you're going to somewhere new each time you get round to that part of the tune. Uh, so. <laughs> So the last thing I'd like to say about the tune, at the very end, I play inside the piano, play percussively. And essentially the piano is actually part of the percussion family. So again, I'm going to use the third pedal, the middle pedal rather, to hold down certain notes. So when I strum the strings inside of the piano, only the ones that I want to hear, this particular chord, will sound. And then we can use different parts of the inside of the piano. And this is a great piano because it you have lots of different sounds in there to make essentially again the sound of a drum kit. And again with such a big piano the sound of the strings and the, the insides really really resonates. So anyway that's how I made These Are The Good Days. <laughs>